So the release candidate of iOS 16 has officially came out. So let's go and take a look at it. Now this is going to be the final form, the basically definitive version of iOS 16. And it's definitely been a ride. You know, it's been a few months since it even officially came out. Now I want to go and give you guys a little example of what happens during a release candidate. When it officially comes out, you have to pretty much reinstall iOS 16 completely, which is kind of annoying. But you can see within this message right here, iOS 16 brings a redesigned lock screen with new ways to customize and widgets and all this other information which we've talked about before. But you can see the size of this update was 5.11 gigabytes. So this is exactly what happens whenever Apple releases a release candidate. You have to pretty much reinstall the whole entire version of OS. It doesn't delete anything, so keep that in mind. But if we actually take a look at the previous couple of versions, you can see 202.3 megabytes, 315.1 megabytes. If we actually take a look at the first official version of iOS 16 that came out, which was, I believe this one, it was 5.34 gigabytes. So it's very interesting the release candidate is actually smaller than the first official version of the beta of iOS 16. So maybe that, I'm not really too sure why. Like I mentioned, it has to be smaller, I guess, or I was expecting it to be bigger. But this is pretty much the most stable version of iOS 16 we're going to be getting so far. And I mentioned this since the beginning of iOS 16. It really hasn't been that bad of an experience of software. I've installed iOS 16 on pretty much every single phone that supports it. I've installed it on the iPhone 8s, the 10s, the 8 Pluses, the SE2s, the iPhone 11s, the 11 Pros, every single iPhone that supports it, and I've had a very solid experience. Now I have to move the camera because the sun's going a little crazy, but as I mentioned, I mean, even though it's been a little bit of a different experience, it hasn't been a bad experience. In fact, my battery life on every single version of iOS so far has been amazing. You know, it's been pretty good except for the 10R. but even now the 10R has gotten better on iOS 16. With phones like the 12 Pros and 13 Pros, they're going to be good regardless. You're not really going to be getting like a super bad performing iPhone by any means, and I'm sure the stability is still going to be there. But as I mentioned before, the main features you're getting are things like the ability of you know, redesigning your lock screen so you can hold it down here you can go and customize it a little bit further which is always really nice to have i i messages has now been updated so you can now unsend i messages if you want to you can edit sent i messages which in and of itself is pretty insane and there are tons of other features built within iMessage that is amazing and i will definitely tell you the ride of ios 16 has been crazy i'm going to drop full reviews of ios 16 on all different iphones probably this monday when september you know when i've got when iOS 16 officially comes out, and now that we have the iPhone 14s, it's also going to be a very interesting ride of those iPhones compared to these ones. Now, for those of you who don't know, the official version of iOS 16 is going to be coming out September 12th. So right now is the 7th, 8th is probably when I'm dropping this video. So a few days after, probably four days after, after the weekend on Monday, it's going to be a jam-packed week. We're probably going to be getting iOS 16 here, tons of comparisons, all that other stuff. Then probably next Friday, we're going to be getting the next iPhones and Apple Watches as well, which is going to be insane. So iOS 16 at the end of the day has been a ride. It's definitely not perfect, but it's definitely gotten better over time. And I'm actually really happy to be in a situation that iOS 16 is probably going to be good. I will still not recommend installing iOS 16 when it officially comes out though. So stay on the lowest version of software. Just stay on iOS 15 for now. But, you know, maybe iOS 16 will officially come out sooner than later and be pretty stable by the time iOS 16.0.1 or 16.1 comes out. So that pretty much covers it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.